Obtain the mesh file and also the full training movie by purchasing this product. In this project, we will simulate the solidification of molten steel inside solidifying chamber. Solidification, also known as freezing, is a phase change of matter that results in the production of a solid. Generally, this occurs when the temperature of a liquid is lowered below its freezing point. Solidification is nearly always an exothermic process, meaning heat is released when a liquid changes into the solid phase. Therefore, to accelerate the solidification process, the heat transfer rate must be increased and this can be done using different coolants to take the heat away from the solidifying matter. In this project, the solidification process of molten steel inside a canal is investigated. Water is used to lower the molten steel's temperature and to accelerate the solidification process. This simulation is done using VOF model for the three phases of air, water and steel. Standard K-epsilon model with the use of a standard wall function is applied for solving the turbulent flow inside the canal. Energy model is also activated in order to capture and calculate the temperature changes inside our computational domain. The geometry for analyzing this simulation consists of a channel in which water is injected and molten steel is entered inside in this canal to lose its temperature and become solid. The geometry is designed in ANSYS Dissembler software. The geometry of the present model is meshed in ANSYS meshing software and the mesh type used for this geometry is unstructured. The total element number of mesh cells are equal to 560,362. A new window will appear showing you the domain extents of your geometry. Also, under the view length, view length unit section, you can see the default geometry units, which is meter in this project. Also, under the scaling section, uh, uh, under the mesh was created in, you can change the settings uh, in order to activate the scaling factors beneath that. For example, your geometry and mesh was is designed in a software which uh, its default unit was millimeters. By activating these scaling factors, you can change this factor to your desired factors in order to set the length to the appropriate unit. You will three phases of air, water, and steel. We double click on the multi-phase button and in the appeared window under the models, we enable the volume of fluid. Also under the number of Eulerian phases, you can see that we have defined three phases. Now in order to add a new material, all you have to do is to right click on fluid and then select new. After that, in the appeared window, you either can define a new material by defining its properties yourself, or you can click on fluid database button and select new material from the list of material available in the fluent software. Now if you click on the down inlet boundary, you can see that the type of this boundary is defined to be mass flow inlet. By clicking on edit button, a new window will appear in which you can change the settings for this boundary. In the appear window, if you click on the thermal tab, you can see the total temperature of the water liquid entering this material. Now, if for defining the mass flow rate of the water entering this boundary, all you have to do is to click under the phases and select water from the combo down list. After clicking on the outlet boundary, you can see that the type of this boundary is defined to be pressure outlet. By clicking on edit in the appeared window, the most important thing you should pay attention is the gauge pressure which is defined to be equal to zero which means that the water liquid will exit our computational domain to atmosphere. For this boundary, if you click on the thermal tab under the thermal condition, you can see that coupled condition is defined which means that this wall is in contact with fluid on its both sides. After clicking on this wall boundary and clicking on edit in the appeared window under the momentum tab, you can see that the stationary wall motion along with no slip shear condition is defined for this boundary. There are two ways to check that your uh, simulation process have reached convergence. Alongside the checking the residuals reaching and nearing the zero, you may define some report to make sure that an equation have reached convergence. For example, by just right clicking on the report definition, going on the new, you are able to choose between different reports. For example, you can define a mass flow rate report on a arbitrary boundary based on your geometry and your simulation. You are able to see whether this mass flow 
has reached a constant value or not. If yes, it may be a sign that your simulation has reached convergence, but the residual must be checked as well. After double clicking on the initialization button, a new window will appear showing you different methods of initialization, hybrid and standard. Now in the standard initialization method, you get to choose the first amounts and values for the first iteration of the simulation progress. These values refer to the values used in the first iteration of the simulation progress and if you choose the values for each parameter wisely, your simulation progress will finish sooner. It should be mentioned that you can also choose the first values and in, or the initial values by just clicking on the compute from drop down list and clicking on one boundary. For example, by clicking on compute from all zones, the software will automatically average the values in different zones and boundaries and put those values in the initial values for the software. Now after double clicking on the run calculations button in the appeared part under the parameter section, you can see that the number of time steps is defined to be equal to 250. And each time step has a size of one second. Also in each time step we have maximum of 20 iterations. After defining these values by clicking on calculate button, the software will start the simulation process. Now in order to extract 2D contours, we first have to define a new plane. To do that, you right click on surfaces and then go over new and then select iso surface. In the appeared window under the contours of section, you can select your desired variable. For example, in this slide we are going to extract the velocity contour. So you select the velocity under the contours of section and under the surfaces, we go ahead and select our defined plane. After that, by clicking on save or display button, the software will show you the 2D contour. Now in this slide, you can easily see the molten steel entering our computational domain. Now in this contour, you can easily see the temperature distribution inside our computational domain and how molten steel has entered our computational domain, changing the temperature of the water liquid inside it. Finally, a summary of different settings and setup that we have used in our project is presented to you in the slide. Obtain the mesh file and also the full training movie by purchasing this product. To benefit from Mr. CFD services including simulation, consultation and training, contact our experts via info at mrcfd.com.